Alabama is last when it comes to the extent of child homelessness, the well-being of children, and the risk for child homelessness. That according to a new report from the National Center on Family Homelessness on the State of Homelessness in the country. News 5's Cherish Lombard is here to tell us how the Salvation Army is working to help families and change the stats during a night at the shelter. Cherish? Well, last is definitely not where we want to be. The Salvation Army has been helping low-income families and individuals since 1865, and the Family Haven Emergency Shelter in Mobile helps when children are involved. The shelter can house 14 homeless families, like this family of seven. They get a room, a place to do their laundry, three meals a day, and there are several children's areas. And Tanisha Dees and her two young daughters have been at the shelter about two and a half months. She says things just started going downhill when she lost her job. Got here in February, and since then, I came in, I didn't have a car, I didn't have a job. I really did feel like I had a sense of purpose, and then I met with some people here, they gave me some resources, and I got CNA certified training in hospice, so I'm happy about that. And I finally got me my own car now that I own. I'm happy for that, too. And my kids are happy. And she says that's the most important thing. They don't even feel the stress of, like, being homeless, because every day they wake up, they eat a hot breakfast, you know, or we coming outside to the playground, or we might have arts and crafts. And they just love it. Family Haven helped her get back on her feet like they do for everyone who stays here. Some families of veterans, some trying to get out of an abusive situation, and some just experiencing hard times. Volunteers hope every story ends like Antonisha's. She and her daughters are now planning to move to Mississippi, where she hopes to continue pursuing her training to be a certified nursing assistant. Back to you.